Hey, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to convert the bassinet to a seat on a bugaboo donkey. Now here is the seat setup and the bassinet setup. So to change it, we're going to actually take off all of the Velcro on the bassinet and then we're going to put our seat fabric on and then we will have two seats on our bugaboo donkey. Here is our seat fabric that we're wanting to change it to. So this is a bugaboo donkey seat fabric. I'm just going to take all the little bits off here. The belly bar pops off from the two buttons, the white buttons on the inside. Remove that. Here are the buttons. The hood can be unclipped just by pulling out. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky if you have the other seat on to take the hood off so you can just set it up. We'll take our hood off. We will need to use our hood later on. So we'll just keep that aside. I'm just going to unbuckle it all the way around. I'm going to do it on the frame so that you can have a good view of it today for the camera. So once all of the velcros are done, this one's a little bit tricky because it's right here on the bar. I can just recline this a little bit to get to it and then recline it back. And just lift the fabric out. And this can come fully apart. This is just a liner that I made for it. This mattress, either depends on what model you have, will come into two or three pieces. So, oh, sorry, three or four pieces. So there's the black lining in it, and then on the top is a breathable uh, netting. And then there is the foam mattress inside of a slip. So some of them come undone with the slips, and some of them don't come out of the slips. So we can wash that if you want to. There is also a board inside. You can un velcro that there. And it will flatten down and you can take the board out if you want to and store it elsewhere or you can just flatten it like this. There are also these long uh, black pieces of plastic in the end. There should be two at the top, yes, and one at the bottom. And you can take them out and just pop them in the bassinet so that it flattens down better. Like that, and then you can store it. You'll notice that mine has a little uh, organizer down here. That's totally fine to stay on as long as you can move the seat around it. So here is our seat fabric. I'll show you the back. So it has like this little um, kind of like a pocket in here that the seat frame is going to go under and then this lever is going to come out this hole here so you can easily recline the pram. So I always like to start at the top, you just slide it on making sure that the seat frame goes like over, like in that little pockety thing that I was trying to explain. I don't think pocket's a great word for it. Let me chuck the brakes on. Much better. Alright, so the brakes are on. Just gonna slide it down, all the way down, and just fold the little foot part out. Now it looks much more like a seat. We can fold these clips under here and pull them nice and tight and clip it. You'll hear it clip. There we go. And then there's three little Velcros on the foot area that need to be done as well. I love the smell of freshly washed <laughs> prams. I can smell it, it smells so good. All right, there is our seat 
on in place. Wrap it on. This is the same hood that we just had on the bassinet. Oh, as long as the hood rod and hood clamp stay in. Making sure that the large band on the hood goes at the back and the little hole for the seat lever. And these hood clamps go backwards, if that makes sense. So the the clamp bit, the clamp bit that goes onto the frame is at the bottom. That one's on the floor. <laughs> Let me just grab that one. So this one goes this way. If you don't take your hood off, you don't need to put it back on, but if you did take it off for washing or anything, that's the way it goes. So the hood rods are all exactly the same length, so it doesn't matter which position they go in, but when you put this on, it matters that this piece is down towards the floor or um, closest to the seat fabric. That's on, and we're just going to clip it in over here on the seat frame. There we go. So our hood is on, we want to make sure that it's on right. So it's not sitting over at the, the back here, so we need to pull it all the way down. It seems like it's a tight fit, but once you get it over, it sits nicely. And then we're going to make sure our handle is through. And there's our seat. So now we just adjust it from there. You can use the same belly bar that was on the bassinet on the seat. And of course you can put both of the seats forward or backwards. But that is exactly how you change a bugaboo donkey bassinet to a bugaboo donkey seat. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to see how to wash the bugaboo donkey, I do have a video on that. I also have a combinations video on it and a review on it. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of videos on this pram. It is a really cool pram. I wouldn't use the organizer on a seat unless Bub was a little bit younger and never really wanted to sit upright. Just that if you did sit them upright, then the organizer could potentially touch the wheel and rub. Unless I guess you move it over to the, the inside. But then I feel like it's so low. But I mean, it could work there. I see people attach them to the back, but I don't know how they do that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos.